Yo, what up, it's Don. Seemingly here. Soul Brothers back up in it with a Chinese shoe. Yes, so this is a running shoe. And uh, this actually came out like, what, like um, two months ago? Really? Something like that, I think. So shout out to Famuji for sending these out. If you guys want to cop, we'll leave a link in the description box. But this is the Peak Tai Chi 1.0. Yeah, a reputable site to buy Chinese shoes. Yes. Because before we were kind of messing with Chinese shoes, I was always like, where the hell do people get those? Yes. And like, there's a lot of shady stuff going on in China. Exactly. Uh, but that's a reputable site if you do want to cop some good Chinese brands. Exactly. So uh, I, I was running in these. I've been walking around in these. And this is just my review. So this is actually like 110 bucks, which already is actually a pretty good price. You know, for yeah, like for a like premium. a yeah premium runner, yeah, exactly. casual shoes, not bad. Yeah, like the Epic Reacts and like other runners are like what 150 bucks. You know, Adidas Ultra Boost is 180 bucks. Yeah. So 110, I think, is actually a really good price, and I think also this Peak is trying to make it their like high end, you know, running shoe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, but also on their site right now, as we speak. I don't know if it's still gonna be on sale. It's it's on sale for 15% off. So right now it's like 93 bucks, something like that. So you can get it for under 100 bucks, which is insane. So uh, yeah, let's get it start off with the traction. So the traction, you have some holes. It, it, I'm not okay. So you see you see these holes right here. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's actually like exposing the foam. Right. I think some of the uh, the holes are. Now, also, you can see. Oh yeah, black, some of them are. Yeah, you some of them are, it. and then the black part you can see as the the midfoot shape. Yeah. And then that is exposed here. And uh, they're calling it pee hold. Pee hold is the they wrote on the outsole. So yeah. Maybe that's their you know patented pee hold. Dude, they have to name everything, man. You gotta name it all. It's kind of funny, but uh, yeah, I mean the rubber is very very sticky. Um, and it has really good grip. It's it's a pretty thick rubber as well so i i feel like it's gonna be durable and uh yeah there's really no problems with the outsole you yeah i think so uh there's the outsole there i mean it's not it's not super important but as long as it's thorough and has pretty good grip yeah. it, that that's a go for me for a runner you know yeah. all right let's move on to the cushion so the cushion is called a p4u <laughs> oh like, the p4u i p4u man <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so feel that, feel that with your finger. It's nuts. You, you like, dude. Okay, what is this? It, it, it's so squishy that it's like, it's like one of those little squishy ball toys. Yeah. That like release stress. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's exactly. It's, so how does that feel on foot? Okay, so uh, the technology it says on their site. So when when you're not putting a lot of stress and a lot of like you know uh, pressure on the cushion, it's really soft. But once you start to put pressure on it and, and stress on it. it firms up, you know, and gets a little bit more responsive is, you know, what, what the tech says. And I, I'd say I kind of agree. So when I, well, when I was walking around in this, dude, this cushion is so comfortable. Mm. It's so soft and it feels, it, it, it feels like a little mushy as well, you know, but it, it feels a little bit like boost, but like, I think a little bit crazier as wow. far as like compression, like being, it being soft and stuff like that. But then I also ran in it and once I ran it out, it like kind of felt bouncy. You know right. what I'm it wasn't like boost where it's like super just mushy and like it, it doesn't feel like you're getting energy return like Adidas, you know, yeah. advertises Outs. that. Yeah, exactly. Like, would you say it's similar to React? Um, I guess yeah, a little similar to React, but it, does, it like it's a it's a little bit mushier mm -hmm. when you're walking around, but it it, it does have that bounce once you start like running around, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And um, you do have this heel counter here, this external TPU heel counter, and obviously the heel. And it does cage the cushion a little bit. Yeah. Know? So it's not like too, too much, you know, you know what I'm saying? But it's still like really, really freaking comfortable. And I have to say, it's like one of the most comfortable cushions I've ever felt. You wow. know? Like I've tried the, you know, the React Vapor Streets, the Epic Reacts, you know, the EXPs, which are really comfortable, Ultra Boosts. And you know, I'd have to say this is pretty up there, you know. Mm -hmm. So if you want a really comfortable, soft cushion, but you also get like really like not a lot of bounce, but a good amount of bounce from like when you're actually putting pressure on the cushion, which is a different feel uh, than most cushions, you know. Because like React is just bounce, 
and like you know it, it like doesn't change yeah you know once you start running and stuff like that so uh, i i really like this cushion setup also the stepping comfort is really really nice the insole is is like fairly thick and it feels like a memory foam that feels great the stroke board is more like on the stiffer side you know right. uh it's more of those that stiff stroke board yeah. but it, it gets soft like you can still feel the cushion like underneath your foot so. if that stroke board was like really thin it would almost probably be too much yeah maybe yeah, yeah. So. but cushion top notch top notch right? all right yeah. moving on to the upper uh yes. you got a knit right yeah so it is a what knit. are they naming the knit i have no idea question. it just says knit peanut peanut <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but yeah I, it's a it feels it's a great feeling knit, dude yeah it is it feels great it is a one booty upper it, i mean it kind of doesn't look like it but it is a one booty upper and you just you just have the laces going through these eyelets i guess mm -hmm. kind of acting like a tongue but not really yeah of course you do have this pull tab which act, kind of acts like a shoehorn makes it easier to put on and it is easy to put on because like you know like the exps are super freaking comfortable oh i yeah. love the like the as fully to react it's nike nike exp like 14 or whatever yeah but i hate putting those on it's They're horrendous. so hard to put on i know? don't rock them because of that exactly you know what i'm saying first like, world problem yeah yeah so but this it's really easy to put on. I like. I kind of like. Don't even need to like. You know, use my hands. I can just you know slide my foot in like this, and then just kind of like wiggle my foot in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like never tie the laces. You know, it's just it's been like this. You know. Yeah. So uh, and also materials, knit. It's a knit. Very very thin. A ventilation. I wouldn't say is like the best because there, there's not a lot of ventilation. There's no ventilation on like you yeah. know the Epic Reacts, and there is an, a little bit of an underlying material. So it's not the best for ventilation comparing it to like the epic reacts and like you know the climate cool ultra boost but it's still good you yeah. know it's a really thin knit and it wicks away the moisture it's not really glued down or anything so uh that feels great and uh yeah i, I feel like for for 110 bucks the materials are great one thing i really like is this 3m is this 3m, oh, yeah, it is 3M yeah. this little 3m like uh overlay where the eyelets are is yeah. a nice little touch yeah and of course you have rope laces as well mm -hmm. uh which also is a nice little touch you know i don't even the standard laces i don't like those yeah. moving on to the fit so the fit i went down have a size is still a little long mm. so uh i'd suggest going down like maybe even a full size i mean like uh, me going down have a size it's a little long and a little roomy you know, right. and I, I would say it's pretty doable though if you like your fits like to be you know, like in your casual shoes. If you like your fits to be more on the looser side, then it's it's good. But then I like my fits to be like really snug, especially with this type of knit material. It's not like super stretchy. That's a little bit of a stretch to it, but I like that to be like you know really really snug, so it, it just feels like it's stretching over my foot. Mm -hmm. That's just my preference. So I, I I would I would probably go down half a size or like a full size if you really want that. But if you want just like a little bit of a looser fit, go down just half a size. You know, uh, width wise, I'd say it's normal. It's a normal width, and also it kind of sucks because there is a little bit of toe room. I would have liked it to be a little bit tighter. Um, so fit wasn't like great, great, especially yeah. for me. Uh, I would have liked it to be like, you know, like the Epic React where it's a little bit tighter. Support and lockdown, it, obviously, this is a runner, so if you're just going in a straight line, running in a straight line, just walking around, you're gonna be okay. But there's absolutely no support in this upper, you know, like in the pubes, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, um, if you're if you're a kid, you know, or like you, you like to run around and like I play tag, or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what do you're gonna do, other stuff. You do yeah. other stuff. Uh, I don't know, do training crossfit training doing a lot a lot of movements you're not going to get a lot of support yeah and this material is really soft so yeah that's something i felt there moving on to the weight ten. eight and a half really nine ten oh ten ten I'm way off yeah they so feel light, yeah. they feel pretty light and uh they feel they are very minimal because the material is really really thin there's not a lot of padding throughout this entire upper uh so yeah if you, you're gonna feel really light on your feet yeah moving on to aesthetics Aesthetics. Mm. I like this shoe. I just don't like this colorway too much. Yeah, but it looks pretty good, dude. Yeah, it looks alright. I mean, it looks a little budgety. Really? For some reason. I mean, it looks premium. It's weird. Like it looks premium, but for some reason, I don't know. It just looks like. I like it, and there's some really cool colorways. You know, yeah. if you guys look, I'll show you guys. But there's some really cool colorways. Yeah, what they were doing with this knit is kind of crazy. Yeah, with this pattern. It's pretty dope. But yeah. But yeah, for a hundred and ten bucks now, going for like ninety three bucks. If you want 
the most or one of the most comfortable shoes out right now cop the tai chi's man and these are insane i love these these are my go-to's i wear them around the house um and i want to get another pair for around the house and then if i'm walking right now or if, I, if i'm you know just going out i wear these because mm -hmm. it's so comfortable you know if you guys want to cop i'll leave a link in the description box but that's it thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys next time later